Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another gold guide. Now that the Warlords of Drainer expansion has pretty much run its course, you may have a ton of those Apexis crystals saved up. In this video, I'll show you how you can spend them and convert them into gold. There are two different ways you can convert these into gold, a direct and an indirect way. First up, I'll go over the direct way, and that's to buy faction pets. Most of the various Drainer reputations have at least one pet you can buy. There are eight different ones you can choose from. Two of them are Alliance only, two of them are Horde only and the remaining four both factions can get. I'll talk about the ones that are available to both sides first. All of these cost 2,000 Apexis crystals and 1,000 gold to buy, so there is an investment. The only exception is the Blazing Firehawk pet that only costs 2,000 Apexis crystals. They all also require the revered reputation with each of their respective factions, so there's a time investment as well. Being revered also gives you a 15% discount, so these actually cost 850 gold once you reach that. And you can go even further and get Exalted for a 20% discount if you plan on doing this long term. First up, we have the Forest Sproutling. You can buy this from the Steam Weedle Preservation Society located in Nagrand. This has an average price of 3,000 gold across all US servers, so subtracting the initial 850 gold investment, that's a rate of 1 gold and 7 silver per Apexis crystal. Next up, we have the Albino River Calf, which you also get from the Steam Weedle Preservation Society. This has an average US price of 3,000 gold, so that's also 1 gold and 5 silver per Apexis crystal. Next up, we have the Son of Seath. You get this from the Arakoa Outcast Reputation Vendor located in Stormshield if you're Alliance or Warspear if you're Horde. This is just over 3,400 gold across all US servers, so that's 1 gold and 25 silver per Apexis crystal. Next up, we have the Blazing Firehawk. You buy this from the Order of the Awakened Reputation located in Tannin Jungle. As I said, this doesn't have that 900 gold cost, so this is going to be your go-to if you don't want to have that investment. I think most people have this reputation level too, since it's so closely tied to the Tannin Jungle quests. Due to its ease of access though, the price is dramatically lower. This has an average US price of 700 gold, so that's a rate of 35 silver per Apexis crystal. And unlike the others, this requires Exalted Reputation. Next we have an Alliance exclusive, and that's the Draenei Micro Defender purchased from the Council of Exarchs in Stormshield. It has an average US price of 4200 gold, so that's 1 gold and 65 silver per crystal. For our second alliance exclusive, we also have the Skyfry. You buy this from the Shatari Defense, which is the trading post faction. This also has an average price of 4200 gold, so once again that's 1 gold and 65 silver per crystal. For our first horde only pet, we have the Frostwolf Pup. You buy this from the Frostwolf Orcs located in Warspear, and it has an average price of 4200 gold. That's a rate of 1 gold and 65 silver per crystal. And lastly, we have another Horde exclusive, and that's the Bone Wasp. You get this from the Laughing Skull, which is the Horde trading post reputation, and it has an average value of nearly 4,500 gold across all US servers. That's a rate of 1 gold and 82 silver per crystal, of course, with all of the others factoring out that initial 850 gold investment at Revered. Something to note is that these will all be bind on pickup. To sell them, you have to first learn them, and then find them in your pet journal, then cage them. Once you cage them, they're bind on equip, so you can freely sell them on the auction house. I'll have a link to every single one of these vendors in the description, and I'll also have links to guides for each reputation so you know the fastest way to grind that out. Alternatively, you can just use a bunch of those medallions of the Legion to knock them out all at once. It'll be pretty pricey, but if you have a lot of those crystals saved up, you'll be able to make the gold back eventually. Make sure you have a level 3 trading post and that you'll use the medallions in Draenor because remember, you get that 20% reputation boost which will save you some gold. So some of these pets are more valuable than others. One thing I'll warn you about is to not go too crazy on a single pet. While pets can be lucrative, they can also be slow moving as well. I would say your best bet is just to buy one of each so you can test the waters. Keep in mind that all of those prices are for level 1 pets too. You can probably get more gold if you level them up to 25 before selling them. It just depends how good they are in battle. Most people buying these will be doing it just for the sake of collection. But if they're also good battle pets, they have that added value at max level. The same thing goes for upgrading them to rare quality. The Son of Seath in particular I hear is a really solid battle pet, and it would probably be your best bet if you were to level any of them before selling. I guess that pretty much covers the direct method. Like I said though, there are two ways to convert these into gold, so next we'll go over the indirect method, and that's through the rare garrison missions from patch 6.2. These are the weekly missions that give you lucrative items such as Champion's Honors, Medallions of the Legion, Elixirs of the Rapid Mind, Colfus Groundlings, and so on. There's just one catch, for them to show up you have to have a few requirements. First you must have 3 followers with an item level of 675, 7 more followers with an item level of 645, 15 active level 100 followers, and a character item level of 675. The character item level is the most time consuming requirement if you're like me and you have a lot of alts, but you can actually use Apexis crystals to help reach it. There's an NPC in Tannin Jungle named Ravenspeaker Thilnas. 
He's part of the Order of the Awakened, which is the same faction that sells the Blazing Firehawk. And he sells these gear tokens that you can buy with the Pexus Crystals. They cost 5,000 crystals each, so they're pretty pricey, but they have an item level of 650. And when you use them, they have a chance to proc, which can raise their eye level from 655 all the way to 695. You can also buy something called the Empowered Apexis Fragment. This costs a whopping 20,000 crystals, and you can use it on any one of these tokens, and it'll raise its item level to 695. It's also a count bomb, so this is something you can send to your alt if your main character has a bunch of crystals saved up. I'll have a link to this vendor in the description. To unlock them, you're going to have to complete your Tannin Jungle intro quest, which you'll get as soon as you level to 100. So this really helps you reach that eye level 675 requirement. Like I said, it is an indirect way to convert your crystals into gold, but it is something that'll pay off in the long run, so... I highly recommend you unlock those missions on every single level 100 you have. As an aside, I actually made a video on how to do this a while ago. I go into a little more detail. I went over other ways to gear up, and also the fastest way to level up your followers as well, so give that a look if you want to see a more in-depth guide. I'll have an annotation right here and a link in the description. But I guess that about covers it. I wish you luck with whatever route you choose to go with. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a like if you liked it, and if you really liked it, let me know in the comments and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching, good luck, and peace!